Good evening, and welcome back to the Refreshing Point. I will be sharing with you why calcium is essential and how too much calcium is not good for you. Calcium is an extremely crucial mineral that people need to stay healthy and strong. It is very important for teeth and bone health. It can also help to control the functions of nerves and muscles, as well as regulating the pH balance in the blood. Calcium is essential for the secretion of certain enzymes and hormones, the development and maintenance of strong bones and teeth, muscle contraction, and nerve signaling. The amount of calcium that your body requires depends on your sex and age. A calcium deficiency can cause numbness in toes and fingers, muscle cramps, loss of appetite, abnormal heart rhythm, and convulsions. However, excessive calcium can cause calcification of soft tissue, kidney stones, and increased risk of cardiovascular conditions like heart attack and stroke. The most abundant amounts of calcium are found in dairy and dark leafy greens. However, there is little evidence that dairy protects against bone loss, any better than other sources of calcium. While there is evidence that oxalates in green vegetables can hinder calcium absorption, they still contain excellent sources of calcium. Foods rich in calcium include broccoli, fish canned with their bones, green beans, okra, fortified tofu, almonds, bok choy, low-fat yogurt and milk, cheese, and dark leafy greens. Spinach, sorrel, and dock leaves, not the root, are also rich in calcium. However, they contain oxalic acid, which binds calcium and interferes with calcium uptake. If loss of bone density is a concern, these herbs and vegetables should be avoided. Among the top calcium sources are dried parsley, sesame seeds, chia seeds, sesame butter, tahini, carob flour, and sunflower seed flour. Dried parsley had more calcium than even a calcium mineral supplement. Stinging nettle, alfalfa, red clover, oat straw, and horsetail are herbs that contain calcium. These herbs are great for making bone-boosting mineral teas. The content of calcium inside your body is higher than any other mineral. Almost 99% of it is stored in your teeth and bones. The other 1% is present in the muscles, blood, and other bodily fluid and tissues. We also need to recognize which foods are weakening our bones, pulling out their minerals, and preventing growth. Sodium draws calcium out of our bones. For every 2,300 milligrams of sodium we intake, we lose about 40 milligrams of calcium. The USDA recommends we take no more than 2,300 milligrams of sodium a day. Soft drinks threaten our bones on multiple levels. Soft drinks contain phosphoric acid, which causes the blood's acidity to rise. To normalize the body's pH levels, the body draws calcium out of the bones. When vitamin A is taken in excess, it can trigger the body to release osteoclasts which break down bones. Scientists also think that too much vitamin A can interfere with vitamin D, which helps preserve bones. Alcohol prevents calcium from being absorbed in the body, and excessive alcohol intake prevents bones from regenerating after an injury. A deficiency of calcium can cause the weakening and thinning of the bones. Other symptoms of calcium deficiency may include tingling and numbness sensation in different body parts, like the feet and hands, memory loss, muscle spasms, and depression. You can easily improve a deficiency of calcium by making certain modifications in your lifestyle and diet. I appreciate you watching. Good day and good health.